in Davis's office. Yes, hi, good afternoon. Um, I was just wondering, uh, what is Congressman Davis's position on the fast track of the Trans-Pacific Partnership today? How is she going to vote? Uh, I do not know how she voted, uh, but you can look it up uh, online when it comes out. Uh, yeah. She did not make that clear to staff or anyone else how she was going to vote on this agreement? Well, I'm an intern, so I do not know. So you, so you work in the office and you don't know? It, she was undecided up, up until the vote. How can she be undecided? They've been meeting in secret for six years with over different 600 different corporate representatives. I don't understand how this how she could just walk in and not know until the last second. Really? I don't buy it. I, Sir, I personally do not know. I'm sorry. Uh, Nobody knows. But. Nobody knows. You know why? Because, you know, in, in terms of having a so-called transparent government, I mean, everyone's been anything but transparent. I, I would like you to convey a message to Congressman Davis, if you would. Okay. Um, her constituents, we are going to hold her personally accountable, accountable, just like we are every single congressperson. We're going to do that through whatever power left we have in our votes. We're going to do that on the Internet. We're going to do that boots to pavement. We're going to hit the streets. And if she voted yes or any other, every congressperson who voted yes on this today, um, they're going to be held personally accountable, and it's going to affect their careers. So, hey, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's where we stand. And uh, any information you want me from me, because uh, I don't have anything to hide. I don't hide in secret. I don't meet in, you know, smoke-filled rooms and make decisions that are going to impact the environment and jobs and investment opportunities, consumer food and health protection acts and things like that. Um, and so, yeah, I'll give you any information you want. I've got nothing to hide. You guys do. Okay, I'll pass on that information to her. Okay, let her know. We're going to hold her and everyone else accountable, all her cronies. Okay. All right, thanks. Oh, you have a good on. day. Bye. Yep. Hello? Hello? Yeah, is this Senator Hoyer's office? It is. It is? Oh, okay. Uh, just was curious um, uh, how the vote is going to be uh, for Senator Hoyer today on the uh, fast tracking of the um, Trans Pacific Partnership. Is that going to be a yay or a nay vote today? Um, the partner has not gone out in public and said his stance on it, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. It's not public information how the, senator, how, how the congressperson is going to vote? He didn't make it public, so. And why is that? Do you know? I'm not, I'm not at liberty to speak on behalf of the congressman. So. Well, wait a second. Well, if you guys did nothing wrong and the congressman's got nothing to hide, why so much secrecy? Um, I'm not at liberty to say what, how the um, congressman stands. Well, what would happen if you did? Are, are you being threatened in any way? With, no, uh, no, 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 no. Because it's not public, I don't know either. Why isn't it public? Do you know that? No, I do not. You're not told why it's being held secret, why these congressmen and senators are being threatened with imprisonment if they discuss it? You don't know that, huh? I'm unaware. Well, now you are. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let you know something right now. Your constituents, we are aware. And thanks to WikiLeaks, we got a lot of information, not nearly enough, because uh, if I'm, we're just letting you know we're going to hold you personally accountable. We're going to hold the congressman personally accountable. So... If Congressman Hoyer votes yes and to, to fast track this and to approve the TPP, not only are going we have boots to pavement protesting, we're going to be all over the interwebs. And we're going to humiliate, we're going to embarrass, we're going to out this congressman and every congressman that votes for this. You're undermining the authority and the votes of the, con and the consumer of constituents. You're endangering jobs, American jobs, by sending them overseas, our health care protection, our food everything our environment so if that was a yes vote and we will find out if that's a yes vote the congressman's gonna have a short-lived career because we're gonna vote him out pass that information along would you oh, well thank you for calling I appreciate that sister yeah good luck in your career good afternoon congressman Moulton's office how can I help you Hi, good afternoon. I was, I'm a constituent, and I was wondering uh, what Congressman uh, Moulton's position is on the fast track of the Trans-Pacific Partnership vote today. 
Uh, the congressman voted no on Fast Track just a couple minutes ago. Excellent. Seriously? Thank you so much. That's like the first good news I've gotten all day. <laughs> Glad to be the one to give it to you, sir. Well, sir, if you would, since I've had nothing but really nasty messages to send to everyone else I've discussed this with so far today, uh, please convey my gratitude and my thanks to Congressman Moulton for doing the right thing. Um, there are many of us out here going to be glad to hear that information, so thank you so much. Thank him. I'll definitely pass that along to the congressman. Yes, They're please do. They hear enough okay. bad news. They hear enough bad, uh, you know, opinions from constituents, so there's a good one for him, and uh, yes, please do convey that. I will do. You have a good afternoon, too. You do the same, sir. Thank you. Office. Yes, I was just wondering uh, what the outcome was today on the fast track of the Trans-Pacific Partnership and how Congressman O'Rourke voted on that. Okay, well, first of all, sir, uh, going into the vote, the Congressman had not made a definitive, definitive decision on how um, he would in fact vote. They're actually in voting right now in the middle of debate, so I can't give you, um, I can't give you a educated answer. So what I'm going to do. We know Congressman Carney voted no. We know Seth Moulton already voted no. Uh, know that for a fact. Um, and so, are you telling me Congressman uh, Rourke had no idea? Are we asking on TPP, sir, or...? Yes. TPP, sir, TPP is not up for a vote today. Um, what I can tell you is that um, Congressman Rourke is very... Um, basically, if... TAA passed, which it did not, even right. though they're in debate right now. Right. Then um, O'Rourke has, um, has um, um, sorry, he has decided to vote on TPA. However, TPP is um, not not being voted on today. Therefore. Uh, oh, he's supporting the trans. He is supporting the authority, the trade authority. Well, if that comes up for a vote, yes, sir. Ah. Uh. Okay, I just want to let uh, Congressman O'Rourke know that um, yeah, we're watching very closely. We're going to hold all congressmen personally accountable. Um, if this is passed, if, the, if, they're, if they support this and vote yes, we're going to hold everyone accountable. Um, we're going to take boots to pavement. We will be protesting. We will all be all over the interwebs, uh, publicly shaming and holding people accountable. And careers are going to be affected because we're going to vote them out of office. This is very serious. You folks are threatening to undermine American jobs, ship them overseas. This is um, investment opportunities, our, our consumer food, our health protection are threatened by this. And not only that, our Constitution, in terms of United States laws, are going to be undermined by uh, corporate tribunals that are non judicial. They're going to be held, you know, they're going to be determined by private practice lawyers that we have no say in. So if we pass a law, for example, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency uh, is supportive of a law that the people want uh, to minimize, you know, carbon pollution from, I don't know, coal factories or producing power plants or whatever, and that infringes on the right of a corporation to make a profit, then we're all going to be held accountable through fines and other things. And So we're going to hold all these congressmen who vote yes on this. We're going to hold them accountable. Like I said, please convey that message to Congressman O'Rourke. And just let them know the whole world's watching right now. I will. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, okay. thanks. Yeah, good luck in your career. Congressman Perlmutter's office. Hi. Yes, I'm a constituent, and I was wondering, I'm curious to know what Congressman Perlmutter's uh, position is on the fast-tracking of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. He he voted on it and he voted no he did vote no oh that's good news you that's the only that you're the third person that's that's giving me good news today um i know Great. senator carney uh congressman carney voted no and uh i also know that uh seth moulton voted no so and everyone else pretty much won't discuss it uh it's a big secret so um, well, thank you very much. Would you kindly convey to Congressman Perlmutter um, how grateful I am that he did vote no? I certainly will. PPP, because I know you guys get a lot of 
angry calls. Uh, so now you've made me a, a happy constituent. Good. <laughs> so thank you. Well, Please that's, what, that's what we like to hear. Well, that was very kind of you, and I appreciate your honesty today. You're one of only three. Awesome. So well, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, guys. You have our vote. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow. Only three people willing to talk about it.